The last time I made a video like this, it got tons of views and positive reactions. So just like any other YouTuber, I'm gonna milk this cow and share another 10 plugins or asset packs with you. But this time, we're gonna take it to the next level. You're gonna be blown away by some of these. And as last time, I've got 5 free and 5 paid plugins, so everyone can follow along. Starting with the first one, which is Dash. Now, I've just been exploring this plugin myself, but it's absolutely insane what it can do, and it's pretty revolutionary. So let's say that you wanna create an environment. You just download a bunch of assets from Quixel, and now you're ready to build. So I drag this rock onto a plane, and then I look for surface scatter. I set what the surface is and what the mesh is that I want to scatter, and boom, I get a ton of controls to organically scatter this rock across the surface. I can quickly prompt to add a camera actor and easily adjust some of its most important settings like aperture and exposure, and let's color grade the scene a bit warmer. Let's select the surface and turn that into water now. It is that easy. I can scatter some trees around and add some imperfections with decals. They have their own manipulation tool using your mouse, so you can very easily place these decals around. There's also a physics tool to populate a scene and a ton of more to explore. I actually reached out to them and they were super excited that I wanted to make a video about their tool. So they were very kind to give you all 50% discount using the code CINICOM. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Now, you might be wondering, Jordy, how do you do all of this in real time without lags? Well, that is because I'm working on the MSI Creator Z17HX Studio, a beast of a workstation laptop with some really cool features. I'll talk more about it soon, but at all time you can learn more about this laptop by clicking the first link in the description down below. Thank you MSI for sponsoring this video as well. So moving on to the next one, which is a free plugin called Physical Layout Tool. It's basically the physics tool from Dash, which allows you to organically place objects in a scene. Very easy to stack objects, make something drop or collide in on each other. Next up is another paid plugin called Dragonfly. If you're into virtual production, this plugin gives you a ton of more control over your camera actors. It comes with its own app to make your shots, save them as snapshots, you can bind it to a joystick for easier control, and it also integrates with tracking systems such as the Vive Mars. There are smoothing controls for your captures, slow motion playback for if you have trouble keeping subjects in frame, and so much more. We actually used it on a couple of shoots in the past and it really speeds up a virtual production. And talking about virtual production, we used Z17 in our moon landing short film, which was entirely made on a green screen and the background is Unreal Engine. With the latest 13th generation Intel i9HX CPU and the NVIDIA RTX 4070 Studio, anything is possible, from editing high resolution videos to 3D design or simulations, and you can do all of that on a 17 inch Quad HD resolution IPS display running at 165 Hz. It covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color profile making it perfect for color accurate tasks. It has a 16 by 10 golden ratio, so you get a little bit more working area, which is really nice. It's also a touch screen, which is really fun to work with actually, and it supports pen touch. Now, of course, it's a laptop, so mobility is important as well. It got a 99 watt hour battery, giving you plenty of power two Thunderbolt 4 connections and the latest Wi-Fi 6E. So even over Wi-Fi, I can run Unreal Engine projects that are stored on the network server. And with all that power comes heat, but the Unibody design and active cooling chamber takes care of that. I've been using this laptop now for almost a year and I have not witnessed any heating issues. Right now they have a holiday promotion running, so it's the perfect time for a new laptop. You can get a great discount on the Z17 and other MSI products. Go check out the first link in the description down below to learn all about it. And with your money into a new laptop, the next plugin is free, or better yet, a free asset pack. The M5's Via Vix Volume 2 Fire Hand Flames, basically a fire pack built with Nyagra, which is the particle system in Unreal 5. So if you want to set something on fire, this is the collection you need. It's very easy to use and the fire effects look really good. The fifth plugin on the list is Auto Note Arranger. It is paid, but it can save you a ton of time as it automatically organizes the those notes for you when creating blueprints or materials. Nothing more to say, it's a simple tool, but oh boy do I love it. And the next one on the list sits in the same category, auto size comments, but this one is free. So make sure to download it, no reason not to. Again, a super
super simple plugin, but it's gonna make your blueprinting so much easier and fun as it automatically sets the size of a comment box around your notes. So you're no longer losing time fumbling around with that comments box. Number seven, it's more of a niche asset, but something really unique and absolutely amazing. It's Machinima Fractals. It's basically a three-dimensional fractal, which is something mathematical, but you can visualize it. So it's very abstract, but you can create really stunning things with it. Really cool for sci-fi projects, for instance. You know, it's just a blueprint with a bunch of settings to create something unique. I bought it some time ago because I thought it was really cool, but I haven't really used it in a project yet. Maybe something for next year. All right, next up is another free building plugin. This one is called Level Design Assistant. Now, I gotta be honest, I haven't used it yet, but it looks really cool and it's free, so there's no harm in trying it out. It basically helps you to quickly distribute a lot of meshes, but to do that in a chosen way. So you add offsets to place chairs around the table, or you can duplicate something that follows a spline and a ton more. And this brings me to a very special assets pack. In the previous video, I put it in a free category as it was something that I created myself, but it sort of was a demo. I basically scanned a light fixture and gave it a bunch of controls via a blueprint. I'm gonna keep that one light for free so everyone can try it out, and if you already downloaded it, just do it again because I put a big update into it. Like, I rescanned the fixture, it's of a much higher quality now, and I added and tweaked some of the settings. But anyways, I also scanned nine more light fixtures, I call it the Industrial Lights Pack, and all of these are photo scanned with Reality Capture, giving you the highest possible photorealistic 3D models. And you can control their light, change the color, or even enable flickering. So you get 10 lights in total for the low price of just $10 for the personal license and $14.99 for the commercial use license. Now it's not on the Unreal Marketplace yet, but I'm gonna do my best to get it on there. Link is in the description down below to purchase it through the Cinecon.net website. And this brings me to the last plugin on the list. It is free and it will change your life forever. Behold Project Cleaner. Again, a super simple tool, but a lifesaver. It basically keeps your project clean, removing things that you don't need. Empty folders, checks for corrupted files, etc. It keeps your project lightweight and crash-free, so download it now. Now, if you want to create your own photorealistic 3D models, I share all the secrets how I created my lights pack in the video here on my left. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, MSI, for the support. And as always, stay creative.